Well, here I am, armed, dangerous. Now, I've always been dangerous, but I'm finally armed. So I actually want to show you what this uh, brilliant piece of technology does. Um, I might say I've been very disappointed in a lot of ways with this basic mechanical arm and it's so clunky and it's so hard to put together and put on but I just want to show you what it takes just to get into an arm this thing here is what they call my parachute this helps me get my arm into the actual socket so what I've got to do is fiddle around with this crunchy bag challenge all of its own. The air out of the bag. And I've got to climb into that. I guess this will get easier with time but it hasn't been very easy so far. There's a little hole here that I used to pull things through. So that's, positioning is good, if I can hold it there. Now the next bit is to climb into my harness, which is a really, really strange thing to do. However, I am getting used to it. It still hurts. But now that I've got that far, I'm going to pull all of my arm down into the actual socket. Sorry about the facial expressions, but it does take a bit of effort. Now, adjust it. It's kind of as good as it's going to be. So, the way this arm works is it's called a manual manual arm, it's all by flexing the shoulders and movement of the arm. So I lock this arm in place basically and then push the other one forward and the arm moves all of itself. As far as moving it this way, it's just tension on the elbow, I have to move it myself. No easy way of doing that. Um, I can rotate the wrist and then lock it in again. And I can take this hand off and put my hook on, which I'll show you that, what that looks like shortly. But the movement here lifts my arm up and down, and then another movement here locks it in place. So that allows me then to open and shut the hand by the same movement as I was doing to lift it up and down. It's not an easy task to actually do all of them at once. It kind of just takes a little bit of practice which I haven't had enough of yet. So from side on, that locks it in, and then I can open and shut the hand, unlock it, lift it up and down. I actually got a bit excited today because I got on my bike for the first time with my arm and found it really useful. So yes, it's going to have some use. I'm just going to learn how to make it work. So from this side, it's this movement here that makes me lift up and down. That's basically it. Until I actually detach the hand, which I won't do right now. It takes me a little while. That's the hook. It goes on here in place of the hand. And they tell me it actually has more uses than the hand because it's so um, so neat on the end you can pick up nearly anything yet to learn how to use that one a long way to go but I've started the technology is nearly 30 years old with very little improvements that's where my disappointment was however this is only the beginning and this is a stepping stone to my electrics so somewhere down the track, 
of the electric hen that I can use just by thinking about it. I'm really looking forward to that, but that's going to be a while. Anyway, I think that's enough to get you an idea of what this clunky bit of machinery does. It's called my arm. Cheers.